Hello everyone, this is Oskar Lagerhusen, the founder of The Total Living. Now I would like to read out loud the 10th blog post in the One Glance article series covering the practice of entry and exit. So let's dive right into it. I'm going to give you two scenarios. Which of these scenarios describe the ideal situation to start a new activity? Scenario one, after a grudgingly slow and reluctant decision to do the activity, start up computer, load up the programs, drill down in 20 different folders and multiple searches looking after the correct file with notes, realize that you need to painstakingly open 10 different tabs containing the sources you need, and after taking some time and trial and error to find this website and uh, not click the already existing tabs, open a working document, spend an additional 15 minutes in frustration trying to, trying to remember where you were last time and get up to speed. Finally ready to go. Total duration, 30 minutes. Or we have the second scenario. Open the computer and see all necessary websites and documents immediately in front of you. In three seconds, skim through the status update and next actions in your master document and you know exactly what to do next. And you're ready to go. Total duration, 10 seconds. So the first one was 30 minutes and the other was 10 seconds. So it's a no-brainer to favor the second scenario because in the second scenario, everything is maximally prepared for you to plunge and stumble into the activity. So about the entry, because I just outline two different kinds of entries. And um, Newton's law of inertia tells us that we need to apply force to move a body. And in manufacturing, the setup cost is a byproduct of configuring the machine for the operation at hand. And according to the bestseller Deep Work, even your brain needs 15 minutes to fire up the necessary networks to, for the task at hand. However, it is much, much easier to roll a stone downhill than uphill. The machine benefits greatly from previous preparation. Your brain has a far easier time jumping into desired activity when there are clear bookmarks, placeholders, and everything at hand. One could either blame it on lack of willpower, motivation, and discipline that you're not doing the thing that you know you need to do, or you can make the grueling start as easy as possible in order to do what you are obligated to do. Even for starting new habits, the best-selling author James Clear recommends stripping down the activity to the easiest form, making it easy to stick to the habit and gradually improve it over time. So the best start to every activity contains maximum preparation beforehand. The easiest way to start a meal is to have every pot and ingredient already there. The easiest way to do your workout is to have your gear already by the door. Then you will no longer feel the resistance to start whatever you're obligated to do because it's so, so easy. Nevertheless, the preparation and bookmarking must occur before the start, which is the exit part. The ideal entry requires a thorough exit from the previous activity. Therefore, Every time you finish whatever you're doing, you should prepare for the next activity, both what is coming next to your calendar and also next time you're doing the activity again. And because you're already in that mode, you've already written or uh, had another go at whatever you're doing, it doesn't take so much effort to do it. And future you will thank you later a lot. Ask yourself, how can I easiest come back at it again? And then you will find out the answer on how to best do it. And this thorough exit is not optional. You should dedicate at least five minutes to tying up loose ends and cleaning up before you move over to the next activity. After finishing a meal, clean it, dish, and put the pots and ingredients ready for the next cooking session. After you finish a workout, Optimal place your gear so you can pick it up again. After meeting, you write down what was said and what you're tasked to do now. If you're on a computer finishing a task, 
You need to save all links and documents to a trusted place associated with the task. You also need to write down your new next actions and the thoughts and ideas you had during the process. If you need to adjust your calendar, you do it as well. Lastly, you open up the necessary tabs for the next activity and leave, making it so easy to plunge back to what you, what you will do next. And just like a bookmark, you want to make it so easy so a stranger or friend could get back and continue what you're doing. And even if future you is not a stranger, future you would greatly benefit from having all the doors open, like the second scenario that I outlined in the beginning of this video and episode. So in conclusion, if the calendar tells you what to do next and how long, the practice of entry and exit allows it to start like it required no energy and you just stumbled into it. Extremely well begun is more than half done. However, it requires that you end with the next beginning in mind. You take the necessary time to save state, do everything you can for the easy start. Dump the links, tabs, thoughts, insights, to-dos, etc. to a trusted place. And you become both present, free, and ready to tackle the next thing with ease. The easy and effortless path is the way forward. Cleanup enables it to happen. Monday's post and video and episode will go deeper into what tasks and projects really are and what to, how to best execute them for maximal output and enjoyment. If you like this video, if you like this episode and the article series, and wish that your friends could live a stress-free and productive life as well, please share it. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the newsletter, this YouTube channel, and this podcast. And with that, I want to say thank you for your attention, and have a nice day. See you in the next one.